Hey, my name is Stacey Muhammad. I'm a director on Queen Sugar, and you're watching an OWN Digital Exclusive. So the most pivotal moment on my journey to becoming a director is, I would say, when I got the call to do Queen Sugar. You know, I mean, I had been an independent filmmaker for many years, at least 12 years, and um, had been shadowing on huge shows with different episodic directors, but just wasn't sure when I would get the opportunity to actually direct television. Um, so getting that phone call from Ava was very affirming. You know, it was definitely signaling that things were you know, taking a different course for me. Um, and I would say it definitely has uh, changed my life as it has so many other directors. So that would be the most pivotal uh, moment for me as a director. When I got the call to direct Queen Sugar, I was actually in the mall in the Apple store and Ava called, I saw her number pop up on the caller ID. So of course I stepped out to take the call. Um, and she was just saying, you know, like, what's, what's up? How are you? What are you working on? How are things going? We were just catching up. And then she said, I would love for you to come and direct an episode of Queen Sugar. You've been ready. I would love for you to do it. I mean, and I was, I was honored. You know what I mean? I was speechless for a minute. I was scared. I was, I think every emotion that you have at that moment. Um, but I was really excited. You know, uh, I, you know, New, uh, Queen Sugar is a New Orleans story. I'm a New Orleans native. So for so many reasons, I wanted to direct on that show. Um, and I think every, a directing program, diversity program that I interviewed for, every application I submitted, they would ask what show, you know, I wanted to direct and I would always say Queen Sugar. So it was just full circle. For me, it felt like home, it felt like family, and it felt like the opportunity I've been waiting for. My favorite scene that I directed on Queen Sugar was from season four, episode 11, titled I'm Sorry, um, my first episode of television. And it's a scene with uh, with Kofi, uh, Ralph Angel, and this is the name Erica who plays the character Disha. And it was just such a pivotal moment in Ralph Angel's story. And I think like one of the things I love about working with Kofi is not only is he an incredible talent, he's extremely collaborative. Like he wants to be directed, he asks questions. And so, so much of it was already on the page. It was just really nuanced. And I, it was it was really like, I think obviously my first time working with, a, with an actor in episodic television where we, really crafted a scene together. It was amazing to watch, you know, the adjustments he made and then how excited he was about the adjustments that he made. You know, Eric is an incredible actor as well. So just every beat, every nuance was hit and it was just, it was beautiful, you know, to work with another creator and have that collaborative connection and create something we were all very proud of. My experience as a director after Queen Sugar, I mean, it's it's been amazing. So it, I would say that it took a while for me to get my second episodic. Um, but once I got that second opportunity, things really began to flow and open up. I've worked a lot. <laughs> I worked all through 2020, 2021. The rest of my year is booked. Half of next year is booked. You know, and I mean, that has absolutely everything to do with having had that first opportunity on Queen Sugar, you know. Um, I don't know if I would have directed an episode of television by now. It's just really hard to say, you know, so much of it has to do with being given that first that first opportunity. Um, and so it's, you know, again, it's not just an episode of television, it's an opportunity to actually change your life as an artist, as a creative, as a filmmaker. So many of us have been indie filmmakers prior to that. Um, and so, yeah, it's it's been everything that I hoped it would be. Of course, there've been some challenges, but uh, the more I do it, you know, the more I realize this is exactly what I want to do. As a director, I have seen a shift in the industry since Queen Sugar launched. I mean, if it's just, you know, simply because, or not simply, but because there are so many more women, Black women in particular, um, who had not had the opportunity to direct, or Black women, like say someone like Cheryl Dunier or Dumaine Davis, who had done incredible work prior to Queen Sugar and, you know, whose careers in some ways were revived from this opportunity. You know, I think there are just so many women that are um, doing what we probably otherwise would not have been doing if this opportunity hadn't hadn't uh, hadn't come about. I think there are still a lot of things that need to change. It's not nearly enough. I mean, we know that this is still a very white male dominated industry. So I think we're still facing a lot of the same challenges. But I do think 
that what Ava did had a ripple effect and that there are more people talking about diversity and inclusion now. There are more people who are saying, hey, we're not going to bang on these doors. We're actually going to create something for ourselves and create opportunities for other creatives. I think that's much more prevalent now uh, since Ava did what, what she did with Queen Sugar. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I think one area of my life that I'm trying to own wholeheartedly and become the best version of myself is just discipline. You know, I, I read something that said that discipline is the highest form of self-love. And it really struck me. I think like when we're disciplined, we're allowing ourselves to have an experience in life that is what we actually deserve. You know, um, so with all of the opportunities that I've had, I do think that being more disciplined, more focused, more passionate, um, like really owning that and stepping into that would probably take my life and my career to heights I can't even possibly imagine. So definitely working on more discipline. I think people know what Ava did, but they don't really, really know what she did. You know, um, it, it has been a life changer. There are so many women that have not just the opportunity to direct television, but to take care of their families, to earn a living, to have health insurance, to be in a DGA. Um, and I think that it's just a model you know, for more people to say, hey, this isn't just about an opportunity for me. This is about making sure that so many creatives, particularly those people who are marginalized and other, don't have to sit around a table waiting for crumbs to fall off someone else's table. So I think it's just a beautiful example, you know, of what we all can do. And I feel honored to say the least to be one of the recipients of, of that, that generosity um, and just hope that, you know, it catches fire even more than it has so that we can definitely be in a more empowered space in this industry.